hi everyone so we meet again in this video i'm going to show you uh, how to solve your uh, open system problem which is energy analysis in an open system and for this example i'm going to show you uh, how to solve if the working fluid is the type of vapor so let's read the uh, question that we have here there is an adiabatic turbine receives steam steadily at 5 megapascal with temperature 400 degrees c and with velocity inlet 50 meter per second the steam leaves the turbine at 100 kilo per second with dryness fraction 90 percent and the velocity of 300 meter per second the change of the potential energy of the steam is negligible if the mass flow rate is 10 of steam is 10 kilograms so you need to determine the power output of this turbine so let's let's catch first on how to solve this problem so you have a turbine right so the function of your turbine is work out and this is your inlet this is your outlet given that the inlet to your turbine is pressure at 1 is 5 megapascal and that temperature at 1 is equal to the temperature at 1 is equal to 400 degrees C and then you have velocity to your inlet is 50 meter per second and at state 2 what you have is your pressure outlet is 100 kilopascal and given to you your dryness friction is 90% meaning that your steam right now is in a mixture, mixture state right um, and that C2 is equal to 300 meter per second okay and it, it asks you to find it asks you to find the power output here so power should be in kilowatt or kilojoule per second meaning that this is going to be your W dot and you are looking for your M dot times with W out and given that your M dot is equal to 10 kilogram per second so the question now is what will be the value of your work out here where you are going to make use of your steady flow energy equations your steady flow energy equations for your turbine and you are going to solve this using this one all right all right so based on the um and sketch previous previous sketch so we are going to create your we are going to write out the steady flow energy equations so you start with your energy in minus your energy out is going to be equal to the change of energy inside your system where you have energy in minus energy out you have in the form of heat and Sorry, this is the summation. Okay. And you have work in minus your work out. And because this is an open system, so it's going to be change of your enthalpy plus change of your kinetic energy plus the change of your potential energy. And according to these questions, uh, this the turbine is adiabatic. So there's no uh, heat flowing in and out from the system and as well as you can neglect the potential energy over here and from previous class we learned that your turbine are going to produce a work so you can cancel out the term work in work in in here All right so let's let's rewrite what's left in this equation so you are going to have your negative work out is equal to change of h if we expand it's going to be h2 minus your h1 and plus with kinetic energy should be 1 over 2000 c2 squared minus your velocity in the squared now why is it um 
it's supposed to be from from the equation is supposed to be one over two but why did we change it into uh, 2000 here because you want it to be a homogeneous homogeneous unit right because the unit in here is in kilojoule per kg and the enthalpy where you are going to uh, get from your property table is also in kilojoule per kg you are looking for energy right now the value for energy but for velocity what we have is meter squared per s squared so we have to change this this meter squared per s squared into kilojoule per kg where for for one kilojoule per kg it is equivalent to one thousand meter squared per s squared. So in order to cancel out this uh this unit we get here, so that all the unit will be in homogeneous kilojoule per kg to solve this energy, right? So we divide it instead one over two. We divide it into one over two thousand. So let's check together in order to solve for your work out here because we are going to need this value uh, in this equation. So you have uh, H2 and C velocity here where your velocity is already given. You have your C1 and you have your C2. But what about the enthalpy here? So obviously this is your, the, the working fluid is steam. So you will need to read, I uh, really will need to get your um reading of your enthalpy from your table table of property okay but whether you're going to have from you are going to read the property from table e4 or table e5 or table e6 will be depends on um what are the value what are the information given in this problem okay and so for for to in order for you to find your H1 here, okay, so let's have a look at your state one over here. What was given to you is pressure and temperature. And as the rule of thumb, when, when to read your property table, you need two known value. And as it gives you pressure and temperature, this shows that your state one is actually in superheated region. So you need to read your property table for state one from table E6 right for your state 1 what about your state 2 here okay so from the question it gives you quality um, the percentage of quality meaning that uh, once your steam goes up from your turbine it's already in a mixture, mixture state uh, some of it are still in um, vapor while some of it have already turned into your uh, water, uh, liquid water Okay, so when given to you pressure and your uh, quality of X over here, right? Um, the rule of thumb in reading your property table when given to you pressure and any other known uh, property, right? Or in this case, your X. So you are going to read your property table from table A5. Okay, table A5. Because it's already given to you the pressure and one of the uh, property in from your table or in this case it gives you x2 okay for your state one just now it gives you pressure and also your temperature so straight away you will read it from your table e6 so next i will show you on how to read your property table in order uh, to get your H2 and also your H1. So first we are going to um, find out what is the enthalpy value which is your H enthalpy for your state 1 where we have state 1 5 megapascal and 400 degrees celsius. So this is the property tables and chart. Uh, if you are using um, your textbooks this is usually at the back of your textbook. So since the rule of thumb to solve uh, to read your property table you need two known value so in this case for state one given to you pressure and temperature therefore we read from your table is six and given your pressure is five megapascal so you flip through your textbook uh, or this property table and you will figure out that uh, this is um, the reading for five megapascal and the temperature is 400 degrees c so 
you need to take out your rule ruler you need to take out your ruler and place it on 400 degrees C and you are looking at 5 megapascal so for 400 degrees C and 5 megapascal your enthalpy value is 3196.7 kilojoule per kg so next we wanted to find out uh, what is the enthalpy value for your state 2 and it's already mentioned from the question that state 2 given state 2 the pressure is 100 kilopascal and that it has um, a mixture of 90% the quantity is 90% meaning that some of the steam has turned into uh, liquid therefore you need to read your property table from table A5 because the only um, known value that you have is the pressure if the known value that you have is temperature so you will read it from your uh, table E4 so in solving for your state 2 you will need to make use of this equation from the general equation or from your notes which is y is equal to yf plus x yfg this is the general equation, but now you are looking for uh, internal enthalpy, which is at state 2. So this is going to be your HF plus your X2 HFG. In this case, it was given to you that state 2 is happening at 100 kPa. So again, take your ruler and line it up at 100 kPa. So we will see at 100 kPa, your HF is 417.51 and your HFG is 2257.5 so you plug in this value into the equation where your X2 is equal to 0 0.90 you get 90% and times if your HFG And you solve it, so it will give your H2 is equal to. So now that you already obtain your enthalpy at state 2. So what you do next is you plug in the va all the known value into the previous equation from your steady flow energy equation that you have simplified. So once you get your H2 and H1 value and you already given your C2 and C1 the velocity so you plug in all inside these equations and finally you will get negative uh, value here which indicates your um, turbine is actually worked out so you just bring the negative value to your right and you will get a positive value here so next, uh, remember that the questions ask you to leave out the answers in megawatt. So what you are going to do next is um, this value, uh, plug in into this one and finally you convert it into megawatt. So once you plug in, you will get um, these answers and since it wants to be left in megawatt, so you so finally you convert it into megawatt, you will obtain as this value. Right. So I hope this um, problem example will help you in solving your open system with with vapor type of working fluid um, ne in next video I will show you on how to solve your open system uh, using ideal gas thank you